Welcome back to video 10 in this series. This video wraps up the story on the building of Tokyo Express and the time that I spent on it with a look at the final fit out of the interior and finally how the boat looked 20 years later. In those early days the interior was more like a log cabin which I didn't find unattractive. The wood through the fiberglass looked nice it was quite time consuming the interior work and I was happy to put that off to later so they could get into the water more quickly and start using the boat. In the first two years that I was cruising the work done was more structural than cosmetic. All the essentials like the seat for the chart and the chart table, shelves around the galley area and some shelving around the bunks. But when I settled down in Brisbane to live on the boat, I started to get a bit more serious about the real interior work. I fared and painted a lot of the interior surfaces of the hull. It wasn't a very pleasant job, especially when you're working overhead. After a while, I had quite a lot of white painted surfaces, which certainly lightened up the interior. But it still lacked something. After a lot of looking at pictures of boats, experimenting and head scratching, I ended up going for a combination of painted surfaces, wood veneer panelling and vinyl under the deck heads and around the windows. This combination with some decent seat covers and some laminex around the galley and other places gave it a bit more of a professional look than what I originally started out with. With all this and some marine carpet on the floor, it was really starting to feel cosy inside. Doing the work on the water was certainly not as easy as it would have been doing it in the workshop, but it got me into the water probably six months to a year quicker than I would have otherwise. To me it was worth it. The effort certainly transformed the boat, making it feel so much more airy and open inside. The first year in the water I only had the mainsail, I couldn't afford a jib, I had no winches in the beginning, I added them slowly one by one as I could afford them. The safety rails and the nets up front were also added quite some time after she first went in the water. I was certainly never bored living on the boat. Every day there was always something to do. The engine setup worked really well. They were raised and lowered with a hand pulley. Fuel was carried in four 25 litre Yamaha tanks to each side. The generator arrangement worked flawlessly. After all the interior work was finished, I sold the boat in Brisbane in 2002 to a chap on the Gold Coast. The boat's new name became Seehund, which is German for seal. I never saw the boat again until 14 years later, living back in my old hometown of Geelong, 2,000 kilometers from where I built the boat. I was having a beer at the bar at the local yacht club, gazing idly out at the boats when I nearly dropped my beer. The triangular shape of the cabin top window caught my eye. It was Tokyo Express. After finishing the sunset race on my friend Stewie's boat, I walked around the marina to my old boat. There was nobody there. I left my phone number on the neighbouring boat and a few days later the new owner of my old boat called me. A great chap by the name of Malcolm Eaton had bought the boat and sailed it all the way down from Queensland down to Geelong. It was so good to meet up with him and have a look over the boat again after so many years. After nearly 20 years in the water, the boat still looked great. It was rather emotional seeing it again after so long. It brought back so many memories. 
but it was also good to see how well everything had withstood the test of time. Malcolm renamed the boat Celestial. You can find the link to his website below in the description. Well, that about wraps up my story of the building at Tokyo Express. It was an eight year phase of my life that was extremely rewarding and a great adventure. If you're watching this and have thought of building a boat, I can only recommend doing it. It was one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. Thanks so much for all the great comments and for watching to the end of what's turned out to be quite a long series. It's been a pleasure making it. Thanks for watching.